Kia ora. This is Christina Hoppner from the Mahara Project at Catalyst. I would like to invite you to take a tour through highlighted features of the Mahara 19.10 release. We've worked together with people and organizations around the world to improve the usability of Mahara, create new features, and change existing ones. We'd like to thank them all for their contribution. Let's take a look at some of the new features. When you create a page, you do not have to decide on the block type from the start, but can put a placeholder block onto it. This is a great improvement for those working with templates, as they can create the structure of a page and then let the learners decide what type of content they want to place into the individual sections. A site administrator can rearrange the block types, pulling those up that should be more quickly accessed from a block. When you have a block on a page, you can instantly change its size. Grab the arrow handles and resize it. You can also still move it around a page and align other blocks towards seeing changes instantly. If you navigate Mahara with the help of a screen reader or keyboard, enable the use of accessible layouts in your account preferences. Automatically, new pages will be created in an accessible layout, meaning that drag and drop is disabled, and you can click the Add button to place a full page width block after the other. Navigating to the block, you can move it up and down using the keyboard's arrows key. When you want to comment on a piece of learning evidence, click the evidence itself if it is an image or linked otherwise, and you'll see details about that evidence and can comment on it if the portfolio author enabled comments. Some artifacts are not so easily accessible for comments. In those cases, enter the details mode by clicking the details button in the button bar you can then click on the comments in details bar to view metadata and leave comments. You can now change the background color of the header area of a page if your site allows the use of skins. Select the background color and make sure that the text color matches and is readable. When you view your page with that skin applied, you will see the change instantly. You can then apply that skin to any of your other pages that should have the same header. You can also upload a background image to the header area. For best results, make sure to follow the sizing instructions. It is possible to create plans in your personal portfolio area that serve as templates and that can be used for assignment purposes. When you create a template plan, you can copy it into a group. Any associated task pages and template portfolios are copied along. A learner can then select what tasks they want to complete. Any associated portfolios are automatically copied into their account and are ready for use. There are several more new features that you can take advantage of. Check them out when you get a chance to explore Mahara 19.10. The Mahara manual is also updated. There you can read the specifics on working with these features. We look forward to your feedback on Mahara 19.10. Kia ora.